The girl was lying in the bathtub, very satisfied with the bath, but suddenly she found that several of her toes were connected together. Mia was immediately frightened because she knew that a normal person's feet could not grow like this. She hurriedly wrapped the towel and closed the door. Then Mia tried to use her hands to break the toes that were linked together. But this method did not work at all. What made Mia even more devastated was that the next day when she washed up, she found that she had fish gills on her body and she also felt the call of the sea. What the hell is going on here? Just a few days ago, Mia moved to the big city with her parents. As an adolescent, she was very rebellious. Her parents were too busy to discipline and accompany her due to their work. This often made Mia feel inexplicably lonely inside. Mia started to wear heavy makeup to escape from this situation and went to sexy and hot lap dances. Mia even made a group of friends at school and followed them all day long to skip classes and go out to play. The four of them either went to the backwoods for excitement or went shopping at the mall together. They even stole things when the surveillance wasn't looking. If the four of them were found by the security guards on patrol, they would immediately turn around and run away. They got out of danger and then celebrated together on the flavor with drinks. The seemingly dangerous behavior of others and themselves made Mia feel a great excitement. But when she calmed down, she would run to the forest alone again and sit in the grass and listen to the sounds of nature. But Mia didn't even know that her body was changing. The next day Mia met a man online. The two of them had a meal and then went to the hotel to continue chatting. The man was a regular at this kind of thing. He kept paying attention to Mia and talking sweetly to her. The love start Mia soon fell into his tenderness. But when the man grabbed her foot, Mia suddenly stood up and pushed him to the ground with great force. Then she turned around and fled the room. It was clear that Mia still had a trace of sanity. But as soon as she returned home, she met her mother. Instead of answering her mother's questions, Mia showed her impatience towards her mother. The same night Mia suddenly felt thirsty, but ordinary water could not quench her thirst, so she added a large packet of salt to the glass. She then drank the salt water in large gulps to feel comfortable. Unexpectedly, the next day, the strange feeling came again. The group of girls were gathered around playing an exciting game. They squatted down with their hands on the ground and took five deep breaths before quickly getting up. Then their companion squeezed her neck. The next second Jana fell down. A short while later Jana opened her eyes in a trance and smiled with great satisfaction. Mia saw that she also wanted to play this game, so she squatted down, breathed quickly a few times and quickly stood up. However, after she fell down, she had a hallucination. Mia felt that she fell into the sea. Her whole body was wrapped in cold water and this real feeling made her very scared. But then something terrible happened. The next day, Mia returned home in a trance. When she entered the house, she couldn't control herself and went to the fish tank. Then she reached out and grabbed a fish and shoved it into her mouth. Then she ate the fish raw with gusto. But when she recovered, she felt nauseous. So Mia went straight to the toilet and couldn't help but spit out the small fish she had just eaten. Then she lay down in the bathtub and prepared to do a full body cleaning. But she found that her toes were connected together. She was so scared that she hid in her room. While Mia was checking her toes, there was a sudden knock at the door from her mother. Her mother angrily asked her where the little goldfish she had kept in the fish tank for five years had gone. Mia was just stammering to tell the truth. She could only lie that she had accidentally flushed the goldfish down the toilet. However, her mother slapped her right in the face after hearing that. Mia closed the door behind her and hid herself in her room to cry. But even though she had suffered so much, she didn't dare to tell her mother that there was something wrong with her body. In order to find out why her body was abnormal, Mia quietly went to the hospital for a checkup. Even the doctor was surprised to see her toes attached together. Because according to scientific evidence, it is impossible for congenital syndactyly to appear at puberty. So the doctor asked Mia to follow the nurse to draw blood on the pretext of sampling while she had secretly called someone. And she also stared at Mia from time to time. Mia immediately realized that something was wrong in order to prevent her strange disease from being exposed. Mia immediately pulled out the IV tube and got up to leave, but she didn't take more than a few steps out of the hospital. She couldn't get her legs to work and fell to the ground. Mia felt devastated and cried out. She didn't know why she had become like this. Could it be a life-threatening disease that runs in her family that made her like this? Mia remembered her mother's cold attitude 
towards her and gradually became suspicious. So she went home and looked up the family photo album, but there was not a single photo of Mia in the thick album, not even a picture of her mother when she was pregnant. In order to find out the truth, Mia found the courage to find her mother and told her doubts. She asked if she was her mother's real daughter, but her mother scolded her for not doing enough homework. That's why she was thinking all day long, but this did not dispel Mia's fears. On her way to school, something even stranger happened. The girl woke up and found that her toes were connected together. The weird thing was that there was a lot of old skin on the bed. Mia was terrified when she saw this. She hid the old skin under the bed so that no one would find out about it. Then she went to the supermarket alone to buy scissors and bandages. When Mia got home, she cut the two toes that were joined together with severe pain. Then she wrapped the wound with a band-aid. Then she put on her stockings and ran to school. But coincidentally, the first class they had to attend was an anatomy class, and this time the subject of the experiment was a fish. Everyone looked at the fish with curiosity. Mia was the only one who was attracted to the smell of fish for the whole class. She tried to restrain her desire to behave normally. After a short time, the bell finally rang. All the students left the classroom. Mia looked around to make sure no one was there, and then she couldn't control herself anymore. She grabbed the raw fish on the stage and ate it. But this scene was just seen by a classmate returning to the classroom. Mia walked up and grabbed her by the neck. She threatened her that no one else would know about it. After she calmed down, Mia was very remorseful. She was disgusted with herself, but she couldn't control herself. The changes in her body made Mia feel very uneasy. She even began to suspect that she was not human. On that very night, the whole class organized a party together. But suddenly, Jana from the class fell into the water. Mia heard the cry for help and jumped into the water without hesitation. She found Jana underwater and gave her a wave of oxygen. Then she successfully rescued her. But when Mia returned home, she found that her body had grown fish gills and they were still wriggling. The color of the bruises on her legs even grew darker and more purple and a piece of fish scales had grown. Mia was completely devastated. She lost hope in life, so she put on sexy lipstick. Then she went to the kitchen and picked up a kitchen knife and cut. But what I didn't expect was that not only did Mia not die, she woke up and found her legs had turned into mermaid tails. Mia felt the difficulty of breathing and crawled desperately to the bathtub. She turned on the shower and rinsed her whole body with water. And at the moment, she felt more relaxed than ever before. Soon the water flooded the whole house. Mia lay comfortably in the water and played. She also realized she didn't belong here. So she dialed Jana's number and asked Jana to help her get back to the sea. Jana rushed to Mia's house a few moments later, but she was shocked by the sight of Mia's house in Francian place. Once Jana understood what had happened, she decided to help. She dragged Mia to a big truck and drove off to the beach. By the time they both reached their destination, Mia dialed her mother's phone to say goodbye for the last time. Then she gave John a hug and climbed into the ocean without looking back. Mia in the blue ocean seems to have been reborn and finally found her own belongings. This is the end of the film. The film is called Blue My Mind. It tells the story of a girl's transformation and ascension from youth to adulthood. Mia does not belong to this world, although she looks like a human, but she's really just a mermaid. She is not understood in this world of humans and she encounters obstacles everywhere. Finally, she finds her true self and returned to the sea where she felt free and comfortable.